You're listening to an AI-generated reading of Early Music Vancouver's Summer Festival Honors Women in Music, originally published on GlobalHeroes.com. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for positive news delivered straight to your inbox, and stream Global Heroes, It's a Beautiful World on Prime Video. Get ready to experience an unforgettable journey through time and music with Early Music Vancouver's EMV, upcoming summer festival, Women in Sight. From July 27 to August 5, this captivating event will feature 11 concerts and a special performance opera, showcasing over 60 talented artists from around the world. This year's theme of Women in Sight pays homage to women composers, librettists, musicians, and singers from past and present. The festival draws inspiration from Christine de Pizan, a 14th-century writer and poet who questioned the mistreatment of women throughout history. Through a musical lens, Women in Sight aims to shed light on the works and creative thoughts of women that were once forgotten and marginalized. There has not been a broken link in women's creativity in the past 10 centuries and more, only periods in history when patriarchal ruling systems kept the works of women away from the light, said EMV's artistic and executive director, Susie LeBlanc, CM. Our role is to shine a light on women's creative thoughts and works, from the past to the present in order to close the gaps made by history. Starting this year's festival with a bang is the world premiere of a new performance opera, The Queen of Carthage, co-produced by EMV and Renaissance Opera. Witness the story of Dido, the Queen of Carthage, and her legacy as a political leader, an empire builder, and a woman of color in this interdisciplinary masterpiece. With an astoundingly talented cast including soprano Charlotte Siegel, dancer and choreographer Marissa Gold, and music director Catalina Vicens, this performance promises to be a powerful reclamation of women's history and creativity. EMV is also proud to announce that award-winning musician Catalina Vicens will be this year's festival artist-in-residence, founder of the ensemble server Antico, and known as one of the most interesting musicians in the field of early music, Vicens will bring her expertise and talent to the stage and provide a unique perspective on the lesser-known repertoire and intellectual heritage of the humanistic period. Don't miss Il Ponte di Leonardo at Christ Church Cathedral on July 28, where Marco Beasley, a leading figure in Renaissance music, joins the ensemble Constantinople under the direction of Kia Tabashan to immerse us in the audacious, imaginative world of Leonardo da Vinci's drawings. This concert celebrates the originality of an artist and scientist who left a profound mark on the history of humankind, and builds the bridge he envisioned between East and West. On July 30th, catch songs without words, women in music in the Middle Ages and Renaissance at Pyatt Hall. This recital by EMV's artist-in-residence Catalina Vicens features songs without words on medieval organetto, virginals, harpsichord, and organ. In medieval and Renaissance times, only courtesans or women living in exceptional circumstances, like Isabella d'Este, were permitted to sing in public. They found ways around this by playing the keyboard and letting their fingers do the singing. Our City of Ladies takes the stage at Christ Church Cathedral on August 1st with a new look into European vocal and instrumental music from the age of Renaissance humanism. With our City of Ladies, Server Antico continues to explore Christine de Pizan's 1364-1430, the Book of the City of Ladies, which describes an allegorical city to defend and protect women and their right to education. On August 4, join the party at Party Like It's 1694, celebrating Elizabeth Jacquet de la Guerre in St. James Community Square, celebrating harpsichord prodigy Elizabeth Jacquet de la Guerre. By age 5, de la Guerre would enthrall the court of Louis XIV with her performances. She became one of the greatest composers and music educators of the De Grand Siècle. In this Bido Nation concert, EMV Next Generation artists A.I.E. Horton, soprano, and Alana Cooper, violin, along with Stephanie Brochard, Baroque dance, and members of the Baroque Orchestra Mentorship Program, explore the music of this brilliant and precocious artist. Closing out the festival on August 5th, catch a woman's voice in Box World at Christ Church Cathedral. Christiane Marion von Ziegler was anything but anonymous in the city of Leipzig. She was one of Germany's preeminent poets and one of its most outspoken advocates for women's access to a public voice. 
From 1725 to 1740, she vigorously defended women's rights to improved education and literary enterprise. She was also one of J.S. Bach's esteemed librettists and a rare woman's voice in the Lutheran liturgy. This program celebrates the two Leipzig artists' short but fruitful creative partnership. Early bird tickets are available from April 3rd to May 14th, so take advantage of your chance to participate in this groundbreaking event. With performances at various venues, including SFU Goldcorp Center for the Arts, Christ Church Cathedral, Pyatt Hall, the Orpheum Annex, West Vancouver United Church, and St. James Community Square, this is a celebration you won't want to miss. Join EMV and special guests for a Middle Eastern dinner and auction of exclusive items at the Rondo in Carthage event, followed by the world premiere of the Queen of Carthage. VIP tickets include Dinner with musical accompaniment, the best seats in the house, and post-performance chat with the opera's artists. With only 100 tickets available, be sure to grab yours before they're gone. The 2023 Early Music Vancouver Summer Festival is not only a celebration of women's creativity and history, but a testament to the power of music to transcend time and space. So mark your calendars and get ready to be transported to a world of wonder and discovery. Visit earlymusic.bc.ca to book your tickets. Thanks for listening. Find more positive news on globalheroes.com and more podcasts like this one wherever you listen to your podcasts.